good morning welcome back to another vlog it is a tuesday morning i am on call for work today um and i'm on a day two and i have two a days so today and tomorrow and i have not been called yet into work i'm trying not to jinx it i'm trying to knock on wood i'm trying to stay home for the whole day um it is currently 8 39 a.m um i did a little bit of a little bit of a i did our regular morning routine where I, I get nova ready for school um get myself ready for the gym pack her lunch and we walk to school actually because we're so close to her new elementary school we're able to just walk every day and it is i swear to you it's my favorite part of the morning <laughs> it's just so nice to get to be like outside and go for a little walk it usually feels good in the morning it's just nice and it's nice quality time with her um, in the mornings before sending her off to school so anyways the walk is done the morning routine is mostly done if you guys want to see what that looks like I did film a little reel so you can check it out um, on my all other platforms basically YouTube shorts Instagram reels and TikTok. it's all it's all there so if you guys want to um, spend the morning with us the better half of the morning um the earlier half of the morning before i started this vlog i just literally randomly decided you know what let's pick the camera up and vlog this is good vlog content because i'm on call today and i think i just want to take you guys along with me through my day on call how do i how do I function not knowing whether or not I'm gonna have to get called into work? So that's what today's video is. We're just gonna play it by ear. It's 8.40 now, so I still haven't been called and on-call time starts at midnight. So I've been on call technically since midnight of, you know, obviously last night. Um, and yeah, there's not much on the board. There's one lean over that I could potentially be called in for and one two day potentially um, that reports around one o'clock, but I'm just praying. Like I'm so senior now on the list that it'll be a while until they call me. Like there's tons of other people in front of me that have um, availability to get called into work. So I'm really not sure how this is gonna play out. I literally have no idea. I have been preferencing stuff since yesterday. I preference stuff all day yesterday. I don't know, did the preferencing system change? Because I have not been awarded anything that I've preferenced, but I'm noticing that the things that I preferenced other junior people are getting put on those trips now i'm not complaining because i'd rather stay home and get my on-call pay you know that's cool but it's kind of like well what the heck like why am i not getting what i'm prefacing so honestly i just stopped putting stuff in as bids for preferences on a days and um preferencing is i'm saying it like you guys know um but preferencing is basically where if on our board where it shows what trips need to be worked if i want to work at that trip i and i'm on a days i can go into our system it's called day of ops i can go into day of ops and i can request to work that specific rotation or i can put a generic bid in saying that like okay i only want to work a lean over i would prefer my preference is to work a lean over so i would put in numbers and things like that to say this is what i want um for my type of trip so i've been preferencing stuff and have not been awarded anything um and it's cool i rather i rather stay at home i'm not gonna hold you like i i rather be home chilling i really want to go to the food trucks today it's tuesday and there's food trucks um about 20 minutes away from my crib um just like at this little park that i always go to and so i really want to do that today but we'll see fingers crossed um that was a hell of a long intro so y'all know the vibes just subscribe to the channel we're back into a flow of things here on youtube so make sure your bell notification is turned on so that you're not missing any time that i upload um yeah let's get into it day in the life of an on-call flight attendant that's what we're gonna call this video i guess <laughs> let's just let's let's do our thing obviously i uh, I'm gonna do like my typical morning routine things, you know. Um, yesterday I went, or the day before yesterday, I went and I bought like a couple of just like little healthy things to like some vitamins and um, some products from the brand Bloom. Hold on, let me set y'all up. I got their pre-workout and I got their um, greens supplement and then I got some collagen because 
I like taking collagen, um, you know, for my hair, skin, and nails and stuff like that. So I will, um, lately I've been trying to, before my coffee, drink these greens and superfoods. So I got this from Bloom um, the other day. And like I said, along with their pre-workout, I took the pre-workout yesterday for the first time too. Um, you know, it was cool. I don't have anything negative to say about it, but I want to continue to take it a couple more days before I give like a true synopsis of how I feel. I think I might use a little bit more powder today because you know, you're supposed to start with half a scoop, see how your body does with it, and then gradually get up to a full scoop. So I didn't want to start out with a full scoop because I've been there where the pre-workout got your body itching and you're tingling and you're like, that's just not cool. And I will feel, I do feel like I had energy during my workout yesterday, I didn't feel exhausted. I had the energy to go and do cardio after as well, which sometimes I'd be trying to skip. Knowing my body goals, there's no reason I need to be skipping cardio. So anyways, I, yeah, I'm gonna take it again today. I'm gonna go to the gym because, so here's the plan. So what we're gonna do, I wanna try to get as much as what I need to get done today or would like to get done today early just in case they they call me right so right now i'm about to i'm about to drink my how many calories is this because it never said oh 15 calories so i wonder if this messes up my morning fast because i know my coffee doesn't i only use like a splash of creamer so it's not enough calories to like break my fast but i wonder if 15 calories is enough to break my fast how many calories is this 70 calories oh i messed up yesterday oh four tablespoons so i take two tablespoons that's about 40 no 35 calories okay so now i'm realizing i need to wait to take this until later i don't need to put this in my coffee or my superfoods my my greens superfoods but i feel like i want to take this in the morning because like greens give you energy right i mean it's, i mean it even says it digestion bloating and energy so i feel like this is okay i think once you hit 35 calories that's when you break your fast so if you have more than 35 calories during your fasting window then uh, then at that point you're no longer fasting anymore so I'm going to keep taking this for now. I mean, it's 15 calories with some water. I don't know, y'all. What do you think? Comment down below if you are like a fitness enthusiast and you know the truth. Let me know. Am I breaking my fast by drinking this in the morning? It's 15 calories. Plus add another. Mm, yeah, I should probably maybe what i'll do is i'll create this as a as one drink in the mornings after my workout later on we're gonna take these together we're gonna make it into one beverage and that's gonna be what takes us off of our fast okay i'm glad we talked about that i need to make my way to sprouts at some point I don't know when because there's not really a sprouts next to me unless I go to the Planet Fitness down by my old spot. I can go. I even though I like that Planet Fitness a whole lot better if I'm honest. But if I go to that Planet Fitness, I can make my way to Sprouts after that and um, go get my real creamer because lately I've been doing this. And it's 25 calories for one tablespoon, but I try not to even do like a full tablespoon. Like I literally like splash it in there. So I try not to do too much so I don't break my fast for real. Um, even if I did one tablespoon, technically I'm still not breaking my fast, but you know, that has like sugars and stuff like that. So I really don't, I really try to avoid putting too much of that in my coffee. So... Anywho, we're going to make coffee, we're going to journal, and then we're going to get out of here so that we can go to the gym because now it is 8.50 and I usually like to be at the gym at 9. It looks like we're going to get there like 9.30 today. The goal is to be here, out of here by 9.15. We can do it. We can journal fast and get out of here. Let's go.
said I was done preferencing, but a whole bunch of like good stuff just popped up. So it was like, okay, the answer is already no, right? So it doesn't hurt to put it in because the answer could change to yes. But a really good one, there's a couple of good trips. Like I really would prefer to work a lean over tonight so that I can have my entire day today work through the night and then have my entire day off tomorrow so that would be the most ideal option but there's a couple of things here on the board oh my god they're all gone already you see what i'm saying i don't understand what's happening but bro like what the heck anyways i was gonna go through the list of things that i preferenced for and it doesn't even matter because i didn't get any of them so it is what it is i think that slowly like more and more the more I refresh things keep popping up so when I see stuff I'm just gonna like keep putting in for it like at this point I don't even time to head to the gym it is 10 16 I did let the time get away from me a little bit but it's cool we on the way I'm gonna get this workout in and pray that they don't call me <laughs> okay I literally just pulled into the house and I got scheduled something I tried to turn the camera on while the automated message was talking but I didn't pull the camera out fast enough I just got home from the gym I was I opened up open time and I saw that people were being scheduled around my seniority so like 17,900 person ended up getting the A position for I think the trip that I'm on right now or another trip I saw yeah because I saw this girl on the list the A she's on A days as well and I saw her on the A day list yesterday so I was like oh yeah I'm coming up close to having to I'm coming up close to getting scheduled something and then it was a lean over so I saw a lean over on there that doesn't report till late tonight Woo! okay that's good but we best case scenario has happened for us well best case scenario would have been not going to work at all but I don't I think the likelihood of that was really slim um, but you know next best case would be to get a lean over so that way I can have all day today I don't have to leave my house until like 8 30 tonight yeah it's big vibes over here big vibes all right I'm not mad at it at all this is probably the best thing that could happen I'm going to Kansas so Kansas City it shouldn't be bad this should be a, a pretty simple trip and I'm not the most junior <gasps> so that's good but either way it doesn't matter because we're on the 7-5 so positioning really doesn't matter I actually would have preferred to be the A but you know it is what it is um, long story short I got scheduled I was able to get my workout in and now I can chill for the rest of the day I know exactly how the rest of my day needs to go now that I know that I'm going to go to work so I don't have to like sit around aimlessly I'll probably take a nap later on um, and yeah that's how it goes thank god that I preference because I probably would have got some nonsense um had I not and I did not want like a full two day with like three legs and stuff like that was that would have been like worst case scenario for real so anyways freshly showered it's 1 49 babe I'm still in this fast I need to eat <laughs> so let's make something to eat now I think I'm gonna go ahead and still start with breakfast I usually do one egg egg whites and some like to some type of breakfast meat today we're gonna do turkey sausage so let's do that this was little turkey sausage links and I just cut them up small so that way and this um, when I'm done with my eggs I can put it all in a bowl and then throw the turkey sausage on top of it and create myself like a little you know like a little egg bowl or whatever as far as the eggs go this is one egg and then six tablespoons of egg whites so it's the perfect combination for me as far as like my weight loss goals hi hey girl uh uh Sorry. smacking like that Hold on. i took me a nap and then i just got back from picking up noah from asp so she went to art club today she had a first day of art enrichment after school club and then they sent her to asp right after so i just picked her up let her hang out at asp for a little bit that was long he was there for an hour. And that's long. Anyways. Anyways. So we're about to figure out dinner. And then I'm going to start getting ready for work. Hey! I was going to cook 
chicken, roasted vegetables, and uh, some rice, but I am just tired, and a cooked meal is just going to have to see me tomorrow, so we are going to throw this barbecue chicken pizza in the oven. I don't think I'll have this, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for my mom and, but, and Nova. I'm going to have like a slice or two of this pizza, and then I'm also going to have a salad on the side, so I mean, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you know I make my own salad dressing at home. It's like a honey mustard vinaigrette almost, so it's like apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, honey, lemon, um, olive oil for the base, and then salt pepper to taste, but yeah, so I'm going to make this. I usually do a spring mix um, with feta cheese and dried cranberries. I'm about to go ahead and pack a simple bag for my trip. It is just a lean over, so I'm literally working one flight to a location, staying in a hotel for about four hours, and then right back. So really in my bag, all I need are my toiletries. Um, and I don't think that I will be going to the gym tomorrow because I did make a 12 p.m. nail appointment and I land at like 9.15. So I literally only have enough time to maybe even come home. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to come straight home. I might have to go straight to the nail salon because she is so far from me. So um, I'll just see how it plays out in the morning. As for now, I'm in my bag. I'm just going to pack um, literally just my toiletry bag. I don't need food because um, I'm, I like fast between a certain window. So while I'm at work, there's no reason for me to be eating. Okay, anyways, I'm going to vlog tomorrow too because technically when I land tomorrow, I still have one A day left, but I won't be getting used because of the type of trip I'm working tonight. I actually won't be legal to work any flights tomorrow, but it's still an on-call day, so I'm going to show you guys what I do on my on-call days even though I know for a fact I won't be working. It is 8.25. I'm like right on time to head out to the airport. I have to be there at 9.55. I usually leave about an hour and 15 to an hour and and a half early just so that I don't have to like rush and things like that you never know what's going on on the road so I usually try to just give myself enough time and I lost another nail I have a nail appointment first thing tomorrow so luckily my actual nail didn't break I'm trying really hard to grow my nails up under my SNS so that I can stop using tips on my nails but anyways we'll talk about it tomorrow um, I think I have an idea of what I want to do for my nails I'm not really too sure if I want to keep it simple or if I want to do the most we'll just see how i feel in the morning hey y'all safe and sound at the telly literally just got here used the restroom took my uniform off and now i'm about to go straight to bed pickup is at 4 40 i would like to be asleep right freaking now it is 12 38 so in exactly four hours i will be getting picked up from this hotel to work the flight back the flight time was an hour and the flight time was an hour and 43 minutes, so it's not a terrible time, but it's kind of long for a lean over. It's just like when we were done with service, we had so much time left, so I don't really prefer that, but you know, I did get this on A days. This is not a lean over that I would pick up on purpose. Like, <clears throat> no, I wouldn't pick this up ever, actually. Um, I like express service leans, so... <laughs> Um, ones where I'm just doing coffee, water, tea. The flight is under an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 15 being the top of the flight. Like the top of the time. Like this has, that's probably the longest flight I would ever pick up. So, <sighs> so yeah. Oh my goodness. So anyways, um, it's time for bed. It's time to sleep fast i'm gonna turn this little light off right here i usually always leave the bathroom light on because i prefer to like when i wake up it's so early that like i don't want it to be pitch black i also am a little bit afraid of it being pitch black in here only because i'm not getting a full night's sleep and i don't want to go too deep and like too much of a deep sleep you get what i'm saying does that logic even make sense like I feel like if all the lights are off, I'm, my brain is going to forget that I have to literally be up in for three hours. Like, you know, so I always like to keep the bathroom light on with the door like cracked, not all the way closed or all the way, like a good amount of crack to where the light is shining in the room. Not because I'm scared to be in the dark. It's more, it's more so about me and my subconscious going into too deep of a sleep. Like I'm terrified of 
waking up late on a lean over like that is my biggest fear because the rush and the panic and it's just like a terrible way to wake up so I don't even I just don't want to have to experience that ever and I haven't yet so knock on wood that I will not but um anyways good night catch you guys in the morning bright and early actually it's gonna be dark as hell because it's four in the morning but whatever bye good morning it's 4 35 on the dot one flight from Kansas City to Atlanta let's go let's just get it done let's get it done we made it back home lost another nail but that's okay our appointment is in about an hour and a half let's just have a little moment of decompression before we head out to our nail appointment by the way, I'm technically still on call today, but because of the type of trip I worked last night, I am not legal to work anything today. So I just got off of a duty period. So basically I get to earn on call pay today, but not really work a flight. So that's like top tier when it comes to your eight days. You would love best case scenario is to get a lean over or an all-nighter on your second day so that your last day you can have free to yourself um so yeah that's what's going on let's have a little maybe i'll even have time for a meditation before i leave we'll see how it goes if not that's okay too um i think i'm gonna bring my laptop and a couple of my work things just in case i want to stay out before it's time to get nova um after my nail appointment it all depends on the timing and like how long my nail appointment goes and i'm not gonna get my toes done today even though i really need them done but for time's sake because i would if my appointment was at 10 i would get my nails and my toes done but timing wise i just rather sit down or do my nails and be out of there um maybe i'll go this weekend somewhere else and get my toes done or whatever but anyways i have a little bit of time it is 10 22 i got in at like right at like 10 05 so i changed um i didn't shower i'll shower later it's fine um and i'm gonna have about 30 minutes to myself right now before i head out um she is like 30 45 minutes away from me so i need to be on time because i'm literally always late to my nail appointments <laughs> So I want to be good today and be on time for Cindy because I know she'll be tired of me and my nonsense. So let's have some coffee. Hopefully that'll hold me over. Food wise, I'm going to usually start eating at 12, but my appointment is at 12. So I'm going to be starving. I'm already so hungry. So it is what it is. It's fine. But yeah. Okay, let me go write in my journal. to my appointment with 10 minutes to spare hopefully no one's in there so that i can just get started immediately 10 minutes early every minute counts i want to i don't every minute counts i'm not trying to be here all damn day okay i'm just not so anywho oh I'm gonna have to Google, like, I wanna Google if there's like a Salado around here close by. All right, let's go get our nails done. later literally a full two hours <sighs> like typically I like I enjoy getting my nails done like 
it's just a moment for me to have to myself, you know. I don't really ever mind, you know, the process of getting my nails done. I've never been one to complain to get, like, to sit in the chair or whatever. But, oh my god, two whole hours? Does it usually take that long? Typically, no. It's usually like an hour and a half. But, like, golly. I did get a more intricate, like, design today. But, Jesus. I feel like that took, I really do feel like that took forever. Like, literally so long. I am starving. I haven't ate. I've been up since... 4 30 this morning with technically 5 30 atlanta time but anyways here's the nails these are the motherfucking new nails they're cool they're cute very cutesy very mindful very demure you know what i'm saying i like them i'm about to go to salada because i am so hungry like, I'm going to tear up that wrap, okay? I'm craving it in my mouth hole. I taste it in my mouth. I brought my laptop because I need to review this video that I edited so that I can try to get it up today. If I don't get it up today, I'll, I'll just post tomorrow. Um, but I would prefer to post it today. I also need to make an upload on you Instagram, too. So, that's what's happening. I'm gonna catch y'all salada. I feel like I'm about to pass the heck out, okay? Literally. We made it to salada. Honestly, after like a 35, 40 minute freaking drive. But this is the wrap I usually always get, Southwest wrap. Honestly, this meal is like 600 calories. So when I eat this, I usually only eat this during the day and then possibly something else in the nighttime. But anyways, the Southwest wraps with spicy chipotle chicken. It got carrots in it, romaine lettuce corn chickpeas um oh i forgot to put dried cranberries in here usually i do dried cranberries um just a whole bunch of shit um and it's so freaking good so i'm about to eat that and then i'm about to review this video that i edited of myself it's like the first video back i haven't posted since march and it's currently august 21st <laughs> So I'm going to review this so that I can upload it hopefully today. If not today, I'm going to have it go up tomorrow. Um, but I did on my Instagram. I did post on my Instagram a new reel. So yeah, follow me on Instagram so you guys can see that and stay tuned in, tapped in. It's vibes. Okay, so let me watch this video and eat because I'm freaking about to die. I literally, it's 3.30 and I haven't ate all day. Like, are you kidding me? It's fine though because you know that means if I stop at... Seven, eight o'clock. It's giving skinny. It's giving skinny. I'm home. I actually got home and I stayed at home for like 30, 45 minutes before I walked to the school to get Nova from ASP. But I've already gotten dinner started and today we're having some chicken. A little, my little secret sauce recipe going on in there. And then okay inside of there i'll show you all the roast of, the roasted vegetables when i pull them out but it's roasted vegetables with carrots snap peas um broccoli <laughs> and some garlic and onions um are you done eating your snack because i should go upstairs so we can get in the shower it is what time is it 5.58, so 6 o'clock. I'm going to bathe this baby while the chicken simmers on the stove. That's why the cord is messed up. Because you keep yanking it and doing all jump rope and stuff. Look, girl. Dude, that's why you can't ever keep nothing. Because why are you putting it in your mouth? Let's go. Turn it off. Turn it off. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> I just powered Did you have a good day today? Yeah. I just What's on your lips? Oh, it looks like you have lip gloss on or lipstick. I do. <laughs> All right. Maybe.